Hi everyone, my name is Amina. I'm 19 years old. I'm currently in, living in Omaha, Nebraska, but I'm originally from Bosnia and Herzegovina. My family relocated a few years after the ethnic cleansing of the Bosnian Muslims. Um, I'm at Creighton University studying pre-medicine and hopefully philosophy or psychology as a major. Um, basically, I'm doing the Interfaith Service Project, and um, I was brought up as a Muslim. I was taught surahs from the Quran, and it was from a very young age. Um, the only reason why I could learn how to pray is uh, if I committed the surahs to memory. I don't understand Arabic. I don't know how to read Arabic, but I'm in the process of learning um, because all of the prayers I know are in Arabic. Um, I think it's important to acknowledge that um, I'm not a Middle Eastern Muslim. I mean, uh, you can see that I'm not from the Middle East, but at the same time, I just want to make it clear that um, we all do the same prayers from country to country, but each country has its own way of life, its own cultures, and um, that also gets incorporated into the religion. And the stereotypical American um, Muslim uh, is a stereotype that I don't fit. And most times when I say that I am Muslim, I I stun people because I don't fit that stereotype. So um, I just actually had somebody walk into my room asked me what I was doing, and then they responded with, wait, you're Muslim? But you're not even brown. And so, I mean, we come from different countries, we come from in different races, and I think that's just really important to uh, understand. Um, basically, on an individual level, I was raised with the understanding that whatever happens, it is the will of Allah. And as I grow up, I... I wonder if everything is the will of Allah, then what do I have control over? And after I did some research on the Interfaith Service Project, I realized that, you know what? I have control over the service I give to others. Because, you know, Allah gave me the will to help others. I had no control over that. But to use what Allah gave me is only up to me. So service is not just a deed we do onto others. If we let it, it is always a life-changing experience because it's about having the wisdom to distinguish that everyone needs help in some way. Some, yeah, it's true that some need more help than others, but if we're able to recognize how much help someone needs from us, then that's, I, I believe that's true service. Um, it's about giving without requiring nothing in return except the knowledge, the wisdom, the appreciation for those who are just like us, who bleed and breathe just like we do, regardless of what religion they are. A project like this will help me understand other people's perspectives. I just, I can't understand why there's so much hate in the world against other religions when the goal of most religions is to bring peace and wholesomeness and goodness to to the world and my eyes are open I'm not judging I'm pretty open to all that's about to occur but I'm afraid that even if even if things do happen around me I won't be able to see them and if I do see them I'm scared that I will be scared just to understand them and through this project, I know I'm going to feel something I've never felt before. And that's something I'm always up to do. I'm going to have a whole different appreciation for others and for other religions. And I'm ready.